Welcome back, Islanders, to my home private island. It's good to be back. I've been itching to play this game like crazy. I've been sick for the last little while, so I haven't been able to make any episodes. But my voice is back, my game is back, and I'm ready to play. Now, I have put some time into this game, as you guys can see. We got a whole bunch of stuff growing, and I've also collected a whole bunch of logs, and I've collected enough cotton to make all our stuff for our ship. So we're going to get that done today. We're going to get ourselves a second horse, I think, so Jolene's not so alone. And I found something interesting as well, too. This little tiny camp. So there wasn't too much of this camp. There's a little lockbox here that I have to get a lock for, I guess. I haven't actually looked into that yet, so I can't get into that chest. But I also did find myself here during the middle of a storm. A lantern! Look at that, isn't that fantastic? I'm glad I have one of these now. These things are great. I don't they don't go out in the storms. You can hold them at night. They work perfectly. If you press uh, V, you can go into free place mode, place that sucker on the ground while you're working in the area, pick it back up as you go, uh, put it back in your hands if you want, and then place it wherever the hell else. You want to place it. There we go. Halfway into a storage container. Seems like a good place. Ooh, am I able to... Oh no! Am I able to pick that? Okay, sweet. I thought I wasn't going to be able to pick up my lantern. So, I did some prep time here, as I was telling you guys. We got um, a whole bunch of cloth now. I spent a whole time, a bunch of time. Ran around the whole island collecting cloth and everything. So we got cloth going on. I still haven't used my protective barrier generator. Because honestly, it's just me. I don't really think I need it. But it does offer you the benefit of being able to play, pick stuff up. So we might look at that in the future. Uh, but for now, I'm not so worried about that. So we got some cloth going on in this chest over here. We got a bunch of logs and wood kicking around. And a whole bunch of bamboo as well, too. Because I want to start building soon. I want to get ourselves a nice little house, I think. Um, what am I going to do? Uh, now, I've seen, like, uh, I've never been to one of these places before. But do you see, like, tropical islands? And what they'll do is they'll have the houses coming out. And then they'll be on stilts and in the middle of the water. And that's what I want to do. I want to start my first place here. We're going to make um, a dock going out. That might take us a little while. And then we'll build a house on top of it. That way I can drive up my uh, my ship up to my house. You know what I mean? And then we'll kind of go from there and see whatever else we want to do this island. So a few other things have changed as well. As you guys can see, I've planted a whole crap load of trees. So there's a bunch of trees growing along here. There's uh, some bamboo over there. There's some, ba some bamboo running along the shoreline. I uh, got a whole bunch of cotton. Don't really need the cotton, um, but we have a whole bunch. And I started planting trees as well, too. And I'm going to let these suckers grow. These things are going to just grow and grow and become full size. And then I'll go and cut down the whole field of trees again. Because trees are a big deal in islands, and you need a ton of them. So one thing I want to do here today is actually go ahead and find Jolene a friend and we're going to ha uh, find out what happens when you tame more than one horse because I'm going to be calling it and stuff and it's going to come over and whatnot. Uh, so let's go ahead and call Jolene over. I'm not sure exactly where she is. Ah, oh, there she is. Awesome. So let's mount Jolene and go and find Jolene a friend here. We shouldn't have to go too far. There are horses all over this island. Ah, uh, here we are. So I've come across a few other white horses as well, but... Because I already have a white horse, I think we're a um, better idea to mix this up here. So I did find ourselves a brown horse. Um, it's really pretty. Look at that. Let's feed this guy up here and get him uh, tamed. Okay, so I'm starving here. Apparently I forgot to feed myself. And I went to feed myself and ended up giving it to the horse. But we have the horse tamed here. So let's call our horse... Uh, no, we're going to go with Sir. He definitely looks like a Sir. And maybe we'll call him Sir Will Killer. I think that is a great name for this horse and probably also a great partner for Jolene here. Is Jolene still over here? Yep, Jolene is tamed and healthy, so that's good. Uh, so let's see what happens here when I click the E and I go to whistle. So it says summon horse. Which horse is going to come? Are they both going to come to me? Are we going to have two horses at the same time? No, Jolene's still loyal, but it looks like Will here might be a little bit of a problem. So let's, uh, let's mount Will and bring him home and uh, him and Jolene can just kind of chill over there. Alright, so the one thing I also had to do here from the last episode is we needed to find ourselves uh, some more iron. So what I've done in the meantime as well is I've gone to the blacksmith station and I've made myself a iron spade. Um, which, by the way guys, is way better than a pickaxe for collecting your resources. But it looks like we have a cougar up here. Not the good one that brings you home and that makes you a sandwich in the morning. Uh, the kind that likes to eat you and make you into a meal. Um, oh, look at that. Didn't even really, really not much of a challenge. Oh, well, whatever. One cougar down, many to go. Okay, so let's dig this sucker up. And I'll show you just how much better this is um, for digging out an area. Why are you not working now? Of course, when I go to show people exactly how well this works, 
It's not freaking working. Why aren't you working? Okay, so apparently I had to look straight down at it, but look how fa much faster this digs up the area uh, than iron does. So I think the trick with these is maybe to look down, maybe go into first person mode. That might be a better idea as well. Yeah, like look at that. It's just destroying this iron node. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead, dig this up, and then we'll see how much I actually get from this thing. All right, so I'm digging away here, right? And you can find stuff apparently in the landscape as you're digging up. So I just found myself two rusty cans in this dirt. Um, I don't know where they came from or if there's like a sign. I meant to pick up that dirt, but apparently there is stuff in the landscape that you just randomly dig up, which is really cool. And then I came down here and it looks like we've actually broken ourselves into a cave system. I've had to actually whip out my um, my lantern here because I wasn't able to see. So I'm, I'm not gonna really dig uh, down any further this way because I don't want to fall into that cave. Um, there's some scary, scary monsters down there. I could probably take them on, but, um, I really don't want to yet. Look at them grow glowing shrooms. Looks like that place might be a uh, fun place to go and have some alternative times. Um, oh, look at that. There's some clipping in the landscape in this game. It seems to be a pretty common thing, uh, through voxel games, but I have a little bit more on this side here to grab and then, uh, we'll update from there. Check out how big my hole is. This is huge. Look at me in here. I'm um, deep down here, so apparently these veins go really, really deep. And as you can tell, the game actually has this function that when you get to a certain depth, it turns into a cave, and then you get cave sounds and echoes. I love it. Sometimes it's a little derpy, and uh, it needs a little work, but I don't mind it at all. And look at that, just in time for the rain. So I'm going to go ahead, collect the rest of the stuff laying around this area, call my horse over, either be it Jolene or Sir Williker, or Wilker. Williker is actually a better name, but we'll call him Will Killer for now. Anyways, um, so we'll call uh, Sir or Jolene over, get my butt home, and I'll probably actually sleep through this rain just to get rid of it. So just for information's sake here, um, I called a horse, and it turned out to be uh, Sir, so it might be your last horse. Uh, that you called that or the last horse that you tamed is the last horse or the horse that comes when called um, I hope Jolene doesn't get lost. I hope she comes back. And, oh crap guys It sounds like we got a thunderstorm on the way doesn't sound like we'll be sleeping through tonight at all All right, so we're back home here. It's crappy weather blah 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 you guys know how that goes So that's what I love about this game actually. Oh, I gotta stop doing that gotta destroy it if I don't want it Oh, yes, I also got this really cool paddle um, and I th I'm pretty sure it's a weapon here. Let's hold that in our hands and see what it looks like. Oh, I love it. I feel so Canadian right now. Bring it on, armies. You ain't got shit against my paddle. Uh, but anyways, if we look at my inventory here, we got, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost ten stacks of iron ore out of that sucker. So, oh, and even some marble chunks from digging up the stone and a crap load of dirt. But that dirt actually might come in handy. Uh, let's go ahead, actually, and see how the water acts with the dirt. Yeah, I'm going to start placing around this area and, uh, see, oh, you can actually just hold it down and it just... I like that. I really like that. I don't have to like keep placing like keep holding the mouse button down. You just kind of place it around. Now it comes out derpy like this, but I'm pretty sure we can flatten out the landscape later on and make it a little nicer. Uh, this will give me here a, a little bit of a land bridge across. There we are. Let's fill in that little spot there. Perfect. Yeah, look how derpy that is. I love it. But if we take our shovel, uh, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get this flattened out. So I think if we go like that. Um, where we start on with the shovel is where it ends up being flat. So if I go across there and then come across here, I don't... Oh, no. Is it working now? Is it working? No, it's just digging straight down. Okay, I gotta learn how to use these tools a little better here. If you guys ever do run into any trouble and you need to look anything up, there's an actual codex. You can press F1, or I do believe it's available through the game menu. It is. So let's go ahead and take a look at the appropriate one here which is tools. Uh, so it'll tell you, oh, it doesn't actually give you anything else. Saw, cut down trees faster. Oh, it doesn't tell you all the different tools. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, what about, here we go, terrain and digging. That makes sense. A pick, basic digging, better for digging stone and such hard materials. Um, I found that wrong, though. I found the spade so much uh, faster for digging that out. Shovel. Okay, so a shovel's for flattening and a spade is for making rectangular holes. Okay. 
Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and make a few things here. It's almost nighttime anyway, so it's kind of crappy out too. We're going to get a storm. So I'm going to make ourselves a uh, shovel in here, and then I will go also go ahead and start getting some iron going and uh, probably a few other things here because uh, we got a big old storm. <sighs> and a good morning. What a stormy night. It just kept raining and raining and raining. Raining so hard that I actually couldn't sleep through the night. So we got a lot done here in the overnight. I made a whole bunch of iron ingots. Where did they go? I swear they're in my inventory. There we are. We have 85 of those going now. I also did grab stuff we need to make our mast because we have to make our mast as well. And I've also gone ahead and made ourselves some bamboo panels. Um, these take four bamboo sticks each so we can start building our little dock going out into the water. Now, I'm not sure... If I should start my dock here, go out that way. You know what? I should just start my dock right here. I'll start my dock right here and head kind of straight out. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the crafting system here. Uh, so now I want these, of course, to be facing out the other way. So I'm going to press K to rotate it. Perfect. There we are. And uh, where are we going to start this here? Should I go a little bit higher? I'm thinking, I'm thinking a little bit higher might make a little more sense. So I'm going to press Q. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm going to press Q here, and that should raise and lower it for us. So we're going to go... Why won't it place up there? Why will it not place up there? Should it, should it tell me why it won't place? The object must touch another object or terrain. Well, that makes sense. That makes actually complete sense. Uh, so it's not just the kind of floating out in the air. So it needs to touch something. At least it has some, uh, at least it has some basic, basic physics to it. So yeah, you know what? We're going to start it right out from here. We're going to go around this side because I can just move my boat if it ends up being in the way, right? Uh, so let's just go ahead and make sure this is not touching the water because I don't want it touching the water. And we'll start it right here. So once you place your first block, what you got to do is you got to kind of go. And sometimes doing this in first person view is going to be a lot easier for you. And we want to place it on the, the front of that one. So I'm going to aim for the front. And then it's going to assume I want to keep going out that way. Uh, so I can just keep pressing blocks until it won't let me do that anymore. And we'll go out to the front again. I kind of just want to aim for the front here a little bit. Why will you not go down? The building uh, system can be a little bit derpy a little once in a while. Um, but I really do like how you place stuff here. So there we go. We're going to continue going out this way. Continue going out. Wow. Look how long that dock is. Okay. And we've used up all of our bamboo panels. But look at that. Look at that long, long dock we got going on now. So our next step here is to actually get our mast on our ship. That's what we were working on last episode. And of course, I spent a long time getting all the cloth and everything together. Once we get to a desert island, our cloth problem will be solved. Um, there's a plant called sisal or sisal. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Um, that you can plant. And like I said, it doesn't pick. It actually just keeps growing new leaves. And then you just pick the leaves and you can turn it into, um, into cloth, right? It's a great little plant. I wish they had them on these islands. But of course... They have to give you some reason to go from island to island, right? Oh, look at that. The fog is clearing. I love how it gets foggy after the rain, too. This, The weather in this game, guys, I, I just I fall in love with it. It's so immersive. It actually feels like I'm in this environment and I'm not just playing a game. I love it. Oh, okay. So I'm getting distracted here. I was about to say, let's use that. Um, I, I, made a, I made a shovel. We won't use that quite yet, though. I promised you guys we're going to make the mast. Uh, so we're going to make two masts here so that our ship is nice and quick. So uh, our mast with sail, we can make that right off the bat. Um, but for our large mast with sail, we're going to need something called a massive log. And now um, I've made a few of those before, but not in game. So uh, how many of those uh, logs did we need? I said we needed four, right? Uh, let's give that another quick search here. Oh, look at that. We got a sailor shirt as well here, too. That's awesome. Uh, so we are going to need for our large mast, we're going to need four massive logs. So let's go ahead and make up four of those suckers uh if i click on the craft button and not the actual item itself drag that over to four one two three four done there we go now we have four massive logs and we should be able to make both of our mast here so let's go ahead make our large mast with sail um so what i recommend doing with this um because it doesn't go into your inventory just goes into the auto craft menu we're actually gonna um, rotate all of that and get on the ship before we start doing that is um is to kind of it, it's hard to tell because w look at this okay we'll, we'll go with this right off the bat here now this ship i'm not too concerned about this isn't going to be our final ship this is just going to be our initial exploring ship so we're not going to go too fancy with it uh but there is a lot of stuff you can actually do with these ships so we're going to go large mass with sail first 
And I think it's favorable to put this one uh, more near the backish of the ship. So we're going to try to center that. Um, but as you can see, it's impossible to just tell if the mast is actually facing the right direction. Because if I try to look up, it kind of goes, well, you can, you can tell by looking up. There we go. Is the mask going in the right direction? It is so hard to tell. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is there's a little trick, and you guys have seen it in my videos. Um, if you go to your menu, uh, press enter to go into your chat menu, and then type slash free camera, and then press enter. What will happen is you can actually go and zoom out and um, take a look at your items and place them accordingly. Because like I said, it is so hard. To place these things in the right direction they suck when you, when, you, when you do that right so this definitely is not in the right direction so we're going to turn that sucker around hopefully the devs at one point in time uh do it so that the mast actually clip to the ship in the right direction or it zooms out at least when you're placing something of this size right uh so that looks like a good really good spot right here let's go ahead and place that sucker down i hope this is the right direction it looks like it uh wait 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 let's take a second look at that let's take a second look where do the masks come out? Okay, so that's the front. So that's the front there. We want... Oh, no, it was the right way. I have a bad feeling I'm going to do this incorrectly. Okay, so basically the front of your ship... No, no. See? Look, I'm doubting myself here. So we want the mast to drop down. We want the mast to fill and push us forward. So we want the back of the mast to face the back of the ship and the front of the mast to face the front of the ship, That which makes sense when I say it that way. Damn it. Okay, so I'm going to place this one right up here. We're going to try to get that sucker centered. Uh, that's about center there. I like using the... Um, uh, this here. Okay, let's look at all the free camera here before I do anything else. There we go. Bam. I like using this, um, this anchor lever here to um, kind of place it center. I don't think the anchor level or lever itself is actually center, to be honest. Uh, you know what? We can actually take a look at this if we build ourselves a block. Actually... We just take our log. Is this thing centered here? I hope so. I really don't want to redo that. So we're a little bit off the side, a little bit off the side. Oh, yeah, look at that. We nailed it on center. Uh, now, the lever actually isn't center. Damn it. Okay, so for our next project here, we also want to throw a small mast on this sucker. So let's go ahead and uh, look up the mast here again. Of course, we can't make a, a large one. Uh, we got master mast with sail. We're going to need... Oh, it uses up your sewing kit. I did not know that. So we're going to have to make another sewing kit. I'm going to need another needle here. This will take just a second. Okay, so I got our sewing kit going. Apparently, making these masks uh, consume your sewing kit. Or my sewing kit was actually broken. Was my sewing kit broken? Uh, we have one sewing kit in here. That's the one I just made pristine. Okay, so it does actually consume your sewing kit. Mental note. I'll have to remember that one. So let's make the second mast here. <laughs> if I can spell correctly. Bam. Master of sail. There we go. And this is going to be our secondary smaller mast. That will also help us go. So uh, to help me place this one here too. Because I'm not entirely sure what direction it's going to go into. I'm going to go into free camera mode. Uh, zoom out here a little bit. And make sure that this sucker is facing the right way. Um, which actually it is not. So let's go ahead and uh, turn that. There we go. And maybe put that one back here a little bit. Perfect. And that looks to be center. Let's, let's get uh, zoomed in a little better here. And check that out. Because I'm going to center it with the other one here. That looks center right there. Perfect. So let's go ahead and uh, get out a free camera. And actually take a look and see if that is centered. And it does appear... To be centered. Awesome. That's like half the challenge. So the next thing we need to make to make our ship operable, because um, we can't do anything right now, right? We, if I pull the mass down, the ship's going to take off, and I, I can't steer the damn thing. So we're going to look up ship, and that'll bring up everything that we need with a ship, and we're gonna, we need a ship helm. So we need some more nails, which I do not have in my inventory, and it uh, doesn't take long to make if we don't have any kicking around. Let's take a quick look here. It does not appear that I would have any nails kicking around. So I'm gonna make a few more nails, and then we're gonna make that helm. All right, and we are good to go for the helm. I got everything together that we need to make it. Uh, now, I do have to make a shelter soon as well, so getting that out there is actually a really good idea because I can't sleep outside when it's pouring rain, which, you know, generally just kind of makes sense, right? I, I'm not sure how comfortable you guys are sleeping in the pouring rain, but um, I wouldn't be able to sleep in that. I mean, if you do, you have some mad skills, uh, but uh, as far as I go, that's just not happening. Uh, so what I'm going to do is place this sucker right back here. Uh, this kind of actually just use first person to line us up a little better. We'll turn around. Uh, we'll go like this. Oh, 
You gotta also pay attention to this, guys. It seems these all want to be rotated the wrong way. I want to be facing the steering wheel. If I put it in the other direction, I'm actually going to be facing uh, the wrong way. Oh, look at that. This is going to be slightly off-center, too. Hmm. You know what? We'll just ignore that that happens, and uh, we'll place it right here. There we go. Now, we got ourselves a ship. So... First step you want to do when you get your ship together, um, there is two other pieces you can make for your ship as well. Uh, you can make the ship bow. Here we are. Where is it? Uh, is it not called the bow? Okay. Let's actually go ahead, look up ship, and see if it comes up. It does not? Why does it not come up? What is it called? It's, it's called a bow, right? And a stern? Why aren't those things coming up for me here? Uh, but there's other pieces for your ship you can build, too. Uh, let's actually... Okay. All right. Let's search it up here. So let's go. Uh, we got helm, we got bow, and we got stern. I'm probably spelling it wrong or something stupid. Apparently, oh, look, I can build a statue and stuff. Oh, cool. Um, okay, apparently, I don't have those. Let's go uh, miscellaneous. It's probably under there. Is the rest of my ship stuff under there? Oh, we got some coffins going on. We got some other stuff going on. Okay, we'll come back to that. We got our ship together. Um, I don't know why those other pieces aren't showing up. Um, I'm probably just pulling a stupid. I can't remember the exact names off the top of my head. Um, but there is a front part you can put on that has like a long piece uh, poking out and a, a back piece. But with this ship, I won't bother wasting the resources for now because this is just our, our normal little ship, right? So we don't want to go too far with it. Uh, so the first thing you're going to have to do is pull up your anchor so that you're not actually sitting in the water. And then you can go to your wheel, sitting in the water, uh, sitting dead in the water. Then you can go to your helm, grab that helm, and then the controls come up on the side there. So what we want to do is we actually want to sail backwards and get the ship out of this area. Like, look at that. When you turn the ship with your um, D and A buttons, D and A, right? Yeah, it's D and A buttons. You can actually see the, uh, the rudder go back and forth. That's actually really cool. I love the little details in this game. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, so backing up the ship is going to take a while. Um, that part's not really realistic because I don't think ships work this way. I don't think they back themselves up automatically without any sails or anything i'm pretty sure they have to be like either towed out um sail ships either have to be towed out to get out backwards like this or you have to catch the wind going in the opposite direction i don't know i'm not a sailor so i actually have no clue at all but it looks like we are nice and clear and free oh you know what the other thing we can make, this will also help you in your journeys as well. Um, they actually fi uh, recently fixed this wind indicator. So you can actually build yourself a wind indicator. It needs a stick and a piece of cloth. You craft one of those suckers. Um, put that sucker into your tool belt here. We'll put it in the zero slot. That's our temporary slot. And now, as you notice, you can either hold it and it'll tell you which direction the wind is going in. So it's going in that direction, which is good because it'll fill our sails up and we'll go faster. Or you can go into free place mode and place it on the ship and you should be able to go. Hopefully that, that won't tick off on us. That happened to me one time. I placed it on the ship and then I took off with the ship and then it just went. Um, so you have two, uh, two options for the sails. You have full sails and if you press S, it brings you up to half sail or closed sail. So you have full sail, half sail, closed sail. Uh, so, of course, we want to go full because we want to start taking off. And away we go. Isn't that freaking cool? I love it, guys. Sailing in this game is so much fun, too. It's so peaceful, so relaxing. You get to look around. Now, if I were to leave this island, what I would be looking for is these, uh, these birds here. What you want to do is you want to look around in the air and you want to see where the birds are flying towards. Um, that means there's an island over in that direction because naturally that's what birds do, right? Uh, see how the wind's going in the opposite direction now? We're not going to go quite as fast with our ship because the wind's kind of pushing up against it. But, like, let's say, uh, see those birds over there? There's, there's probably some in the sky right over there across those trees. I see some flying around. Uh, you you kind of want to go in the direction the wind's favoring, right? So if there's birds going in that direction, if there's birds going in that direction or that direction, you're going to want to follow the birds that are going in the direction of the wind because it'll get you there faster, right? Um, but we're not going to be leaving the island this episode. We're actually going to be turning this ship around. 
Let's give that a little bit of a turn and bringing it back home. So we got a lot done this episode. We got um, we got some iron going on. We got ourselves a new horse that I can mount. Uh, we got ourselves our ship together. So we're good to go when we want to leave the island. I think our next episode here, what I'm going to do is make myself a shelter. We'll get a basic shelter going off of that little uh, dock I built. Uh, that way I can pull up my ship beside it, you know, look really cool. And then once we start getting the other islands and stuff, we can get more support supplies different colors uh, unlock more things and then we can start building like crazy but for our most most concern right now is we actually need to go ahead and get our island together but anyways guys um i had a lot of fun here i'm actually gonna put this ship off into the distance here and we will end our episode with me sailing off um where's the sunset into the sunset. Yeah, you know what? Let's turn around this let's turn this ship around and sail off into the sunset. I think that's a great end of the episode. So as usual, guys, stay classy, back up them game saves, and I'll see you in the next episode. Always survive. Peace out, and I hope you guys are enjoying this game. I know I definitely am. <laughs>